Well, we're going to try and install <coughs> CUDA 10.0 um, and CUDNN 7.5-ish, 7.6, um, on Ubuntu 8.04.04. Um, I've been through this process a couple of times. It's a bit ugly. Um, it's not not a really comfortable process to go through. Uh, PY Image Search, um, Adrian Rosenbeck, Rosenbock. Uh, his website has a pretty good uh, installation path. Try and stick with the same versions. I've tried 10.2, 10.1, and a whole bunch of other stuff, and just had trouble all over the place. Um, so what I'm going to do is stick with 10.0. Uh, I'm going to follow his instructions fairly closely. So let's get started with trying to install CUDA 10.0 itself. So I'm going to go sudo uh, override. I'm not sure what that override does, but um, the first time I tested this on another machine, it worked using that. So let's stick with that. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom and so on and so forth. I'll just hit Q, accept. Uh, install the graphics driver. Yes. Yes. Uh, default is no. We don't want to change that. Install the toolkit. Yes. Default location will do. Symbolic link. Yes. Uh, yes for the samples. Yeah, let's stick the samples in my home directory. It's fine. Let's hope this display driver installs without an error. Driver failed. Okay, I've been down this path a whole lot of times already this morning with different issues. Let's hope this is one of the quick ones. Um, it might be that the NVIDIA display driver is already running in Ubuntu. Let's have a quick look. Um, okay, already loaded. Be sure to exit any programs that may be using the GPUs before blah, 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 blah. Uh, safest way is ready to reboot. Okay, let's check and see if we're using any of the proprietary drivers. Don't know what's installed and what's not installed. I've been playing with this all morning, so I have to forgive it being in a bit of a state of mess. It's disappointing just how bad this process has been installing this stuff. Okay, I'm going to do a reboot. Um, I could probably... Uh, I don't know what the reverse of mod probe is. It's like RM probe or something, isn't it? Um, mod probe remove module. Let's see. Mod probe R. Let's just try mod probe R. NVIDIA, what was it called? DRM? NVIDIA. DRM. Okay, time for a reboot. As per the instructions, we'll see whether rebooting actually helps us. If all went well with that, we should be able to hmm. that's terrible. Okay, if that reboot worked, we should be in a position to actually um, install the CUDA stuff again. Let's try one more time. Installers 10.0. Okay. Like I say, this process has been pretty ugly. I'm, I mean, if you if you can't get this to work, you're not going to be able to do any of the other stuff. Uh, it's probably technically beyond you anyway. But this is frustrating, even for somebody that has a pretty good idea what they're doing. Okay. Yes, install the driver. Yes. No. Yes, install the toolkit. Yes, there. Yes, symbolic link. Oh, don't worry about the samples. Hopefully the display driver installs this time. Unfortunately, I've had no luck running a different version of the display driver to the CUDA toolkit. It would appear that if you've got a newer version of the driver than the toolkit requires within reason, it'll work. But I've had absolutely no luck getting that to be the case.
So I'm actually going backwards in terms of drivers to, I think, 410, the version 410, from 44.33. This appears to be working. Previously, it only took a few seconds to give us an error. So that's, uh, that's pretty good news. We might be making some progress. Excellent. That looks good. Still installing. I'm going to uh, pull up some directions that I had from from earlier for installing the rest of this stuff um, on a different screen. The fact that we've gotten this far is a good sign. All right, let's have NVIDIA. Whoops, NVIDIA SMI. All right. 410.48, looks like that's working. That's a great start. So it looks like what we're going to need is put some stuff in our bash profile. So let's go nano, bash RC, all the way to the bottom, insert some stuff here. That's the same path it installed to, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to source that. Okay. That is an excellent start. Let's see if our NVCC version. Excellent. So we've got release 10.0, CUDA compilation tools. Excellent, excellent. So now you would need to download CUDNN, which I've already done previously. So we would need to install these three um, dev files. Not sure exactly what order to do them in, but let's give it a go. sudo dpackage install lib. I think I'll go straight for the 7.6 and then I'll do the dev stuff and then the documentation. be reasonably quick. That warning probably relates to the fact that I had stuff installed already. 7 dev. Install that one. The goal here is to use Visual Studio dot code, uh, Visual Studio code to uh, to develop in Python using this stuff. That is excellent. I may well have to copy some SO files a little bit later, but we'll see. Let's uh, install pip, which I should have the, yep, sudo, sorry, thinking Python and typing sudo at the same time, Python 3, get pip, and then we'll install our uh, virtual environment and virtual environment wrapper. Well, it takes way longer than I expected it to. I would have thought this would only take a couple of seconds. Okay, very good. Satisfied as I would expect. Let's throw our virtual environment lines into our bash RC. Right down the bottom. Okay. 
excellent. Make virtual environment, deep learning for computer vision. Let's use the same names that Adrian did. I think it's Adrian. If it's not, please forgive me. Looks good. We've got our virtual environment is actually in use. Let's go pip install numpy. Pip install TensorFlow with the GPU option version 2.0.0. Okay, it's cached on this machine. Lucky it's 380 meg. Now, if all worked well, we should be able to install another bunch of libraries and we should be good to go. I don't know how many of them I could get away with skipping to actually try TensorFlow out, but um, We'll install them all quickly. Should all be cached on the local machine anyway, so they should be pretty quick. Probably take me longer to cut and paste than it will to install. All right, these are the standard image processing libraries. Now on to the machine learning libraries. Three more to go. Now after many failed attempts, if we're lucky, we should be able to pull up Python, should be Python 3.8 something, no, 3.6, slightly earlier version, that's already, uh, import tensorflow as tf, import worked, tf test dot is GPU available. True. Excellent. That means our GPU is available to TensorFlow. I think we're ready to start setting up our virtual environment in Visual Studio Code. All right. So let's imagine we're starting off from a clean booted machine terminal. We're going to go see the documents. Um, actually, let's go work on virtual environment cd backslash. Okay, so this is roughly where our, our bin and our libraries and things are going to go. Let's open up Visual Studio Code. Let's go, well, let's go back to and make directory testing. Open Visual Studio Code in that directory. And let's create ourselves a file. test.py. The Python extension is recommended. Yep, sounds like a great idea. Let's have one of those. Okay, so if you didn't get the command to uh, the instruction to install this, you can do control shift P and type in Python and you should come up with this one. Um, got it. Let's, uh, Python linter is not installed yet. Let's put that on there as well. Excellent. All right, control shift P. And let's type in Python 
colon s e l select interpreter and now we can see we can actually select our um, virtual environment here now i believe if we do that we hit save we should be able to write a um, python shebang at the top um, the exact format of which escapes me because I don't write in Python very often. This will be a challenge actually because I don't know how this works exactly with um, with the virtual environments. Um, let's just assume it's bin Python. And then hit debug. I'll save, run, start debugging. Let's try that. Test. Okay, looks like it worked. All right, let's do similar test as before. Let's say import TensorFlow as TF as TF. Okay. Good. Didn't do exactly what I wanted, but sure. There's TF, and let's say print um, TF.test. Not in talking marks, because that's not what we wanted. Test. Dot is GPU available. Look at that. Context completion. That's why Visual Studio um, Code, Visual Studio Code is a good option. F5. This will prove that our virtual environment is actually working. And, yep, and we have access to all our stuff. Excellent. So that's how you configure Visual Studio Code to use the virtual environment you created during the install. And now you can create you know, your, um, your debug profile and things so you can hit F5. And, and the great thing about Visual Studio Code is that you've got an excellent debugger. You've got great uh, development tools, integration with Git, all the rest of the stuff that you're, you're used to having. It'll make following the um, tutorials and various other things that you do heaps easier, much, much better. Okay, um, hopefully that little bit of help is enough to get a couple of people who couldn't get this to work um, up and running. If not, um, a bit of perseverance. Unfortunately, it's not a one-size-fits-all thing. I can't give you instructions step-by-step step that are going to make it work perfectly on your machine. It's taken me two and a bit hours to get it to work. All right.